Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an awesome way to apply powder foundation, keeping it very natural looking. When you apply powder foundation, I know sometimes it's tricky, it can start looking cakey, um, it can make your skin feel dry, it can just cling to like, just dryness and just look awful. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, how to kind of um, brighten up your face and make it look natural using um, other products kind of along with it. But basically just my very favorite powder products, my very favorite mode of application. It's very quick and easy. Um, don't go by the length of the video because I'm explaining the whole time. It literally takes like under two minutes. But first I'm going to give you a few pointers uh, as I start. I'm going to explain a little bit as well too. But when you are going to go for a powder foundation, do not expect to go into it to get a full coverage look. If you want a more full coverage look, you're going to really have to use a lot of concealer. Um, you might just want to go ahead and use a liquid product. Because honestly, you know, liquid products and powder products are obviously very different. The finish is so different and you will be more likely to get a more natural finish out of a full coverage liquid product than a full coverage powder product. But I am going to show you how to um, how to go about using a powder product if you want some good coverage but you still want it to look natural. Uh, but just keep that in mind. If you really have got some you know major issues and you really want more coverage you may want to start with something different. Um, you may want to hold off on the powder but I think this is a great uh, way of applying it and I'm going to show you how. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. You want to make sure that you do um, starting off obviously is when you get out of the shower or you know just a little bit uh, a couple minutes before you plan on doing your makeup apply a good moisturizer and the one that I have been swearing by lately is the Vita Zing by Origins. It does have a slight tint to it which is good to use if you're going to use a powder foundation because like I said you don't want to have to rely on that foundation to be such a full coverage you don't want to really have to pile on so much because of the finish of a powder foundation no matter what kind it is if you apply too much, it's going to look like too much. I apply this and it already looks like I have on some foundation because, you know, day to day I just haven't really been wearing anything. I just use this. Um, it has a sheer tint to it. If you want, you can just use a plain um, moisturizer. It's not going to matter, whatever, but this makes my skin feel comfortable, gives me a little bit of a tint. Now, if you want, you can apply a primer. It's just going to make your skin feel a little more smooth. I like to apply as little product as possible, so I always skip a primer. I don't really use it. But if you are going to be wearing a powder foundation and, you know, you have very dry skin, then I would go with a primer. The powder foundation of choice is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC. Do you have to use this one? No, you can use whatever you want. Um, the... Studio Fix Powder is a very popular choice. A lot of people use that. There's great options at the drugstore. There's a lot of different things you can try. Um, but I really love this MAC one because day to day I will use it just with a fluffy brush and just dust it over um, if I'm just going to wear my moisturizer or even if I apply a liquid foundation, I use this to set it. The finish of this is great. It is not um, super, super matte. It has like a natural finish to it. The only thing you want to do is to take a concealer and apply that first. If you apply your foundation, your powder foundation, and then apply your concealer, it's going to be adhering to the powder and not your skin. Things are going to look a little crusty. Now if you're doing liquid foundation, I always apply the liquid and then I apply the concealer because that works. Because the liquid will just knock the concealer off. This, however, is opposite. So just take your uh, concealer and apply that first and I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in a little pot. I don't need a whole lot of this because I've already applied that Vitazing and it has a little bit of a tint to it and it evens out your skin. Okay, now with the powder foundation I'm going to start off. I use the light medium shade and the medium dark shade because the shades that are in between this are a little too pink and I look pink and I don't like that. So I kind of, I'll mix the two. I really like this one. It's an F45, um, any kind of kabuki brush. And I get that into the product and blend that over your skin. And since it's a mineral product, the more you kind of buff it, the more coverage comes out of it, which is kind of weird. And notice I didn't apply my under eye concealer yet. You want to wait to do that last because you're not applying powder under your eye. So, so that works because you're not applying the concealer over the powder. That sounds tricky and complicated, but it's not. You can kind of see that the discoloration is going away, or at least I can't. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. 
The camera always makes your skin look a lot better than it is. The whole point of a powder foundation is to just kind of be convenient, kind of be quick, not get your hands too dirty. You can take it with you throughout the day and reapply it as you need it. Um, but yeah, just definitely buff it in. Use a product or use a brush that's really going to blend well. And don't apply a whole lot or else you're just going to look like really powdered. Now depending on what products you use, you may get kind of a different finish at this point. If you want to keep your skin from looking so like flat, you can take a highlighting product. I would stick with a powder product. If you try to apply a liquid highlighter, it's going to drag the powder around. It's going to get clumpy. It's going to look a little strange. Um, so you want to stick with a powder. I'm going to use this NARS Albatross to highlight a little bit. And it's just going to keep my skin from looking um, too flat. I like to apply it kind of around my eyes right there. And straight down my nose just a little bit. For your bronzer, I like to stick with something that has a little bit of a sheen to it. We're trying to kind of make the skin look more alive rather than just applying flat product on flat product on flat. Because this doesn't have any shimmer to it, obviously. So it's nice to add a little bit of depth and use this. It's actually better to apply products like when you use your highlighter and your bronzer that have a shimmer to them. Taking this paddle brush, this is my Sigma one, and I'm just kind of applying my bronzer um, just a little bit. And that gives your skin some shine, a little bit of dimension. Um, then for your blush, you can use whatever you want. You can use a brush that has a little bit of shimmer in it or a blush that's um, totally doesn't have any shimmer to it. Once you use those other products, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to use my Smashbox blush, and this is in the shade Flush. And I'm going to take this angled brush by Sigma and apply that to my cheeks. Now I showed you all those things, the highlighter, the blush, the bronzer, because that is key when you apply a powder foundation to remember those steps. And to kind of remember a few of those little tips that I told you about using the, sh the you know, shimmery products and not using the shimmer, whatever. Um, just because it is going to make your skin look a little more natural, give it more depth. Um, okay, now I'm going to apply my under eye concealer. I waited until after I've applied every single powder product. There's nothing worse than like powdery things clinging to concealer. This is just my YSL, the Touch Eclay, whatever. Um, and I'm not going to go overboard, I'm just going to apply a little. And then you would apply your eye makeup, your lips, whatever you want to do. If you still find that you look too powdery, if you want an even more natural effect, then you can take your trusty little makeup setting spray. This is just my Fix Plus. You can even keep some... You can buy makeup setting sprays from a lot of different brands. I sprayed on a brush. And it's very important to use like a uh, dual fiber brush like this. This is my F50 by Sigma. And then as you dab it, it just kind of takes away any of the little powder particles that are resting on the skin. And takes, takes down the like, you know, powdered look. So that's it. This is the most natural you can do powder foundation. Like when I look at it, I can't even tell it's a powder. And I'm very picky about that, as I said. Um, yeah, and I love the uh, way it looks. It's very easy. You don't have to bust out your liquid and all that. And it is very quick. You cannot ever go by the length of an actual video unless if it's just seriously someone timing themselves like doing it. Because once you explain, once you do all that, it's just, it's a mess. Um, but it's a very quick process. Literally takes less than two minutes. I do this uh, most days and it's super, super quick. Uh, so I hope that you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.